Hi guys, I hope you're doing um, very well. Um, we had an excellent time all weekend, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, five shows at the Elvis um, Elvis shows. They they did an excellent job, and uh, that was always fun getting out and you know doing something different. And again, I thank you all for your comments. And I am slowly feeling better. My voice is still a little, um, you know, irritated, um, but slowly, yes. But grace of God, slowly getting better. Um, my ears still pop and all that fun stuff, but I'm doing better. Anyways, today, um, I don't have any notes that I wrote today, so I just want to um, just, I'll just go with the flow. Um, on this video, I think I'm going to discuss about um, why a narcissist gets so jealous of you. Why would they be so jealous? If they discard you and act like, you know, you're not good enough and there's someone better, or the grass is greener, and they go find somebody else. Why is it, what motivates them to still want to be after you, still want to be interested in you, still want to know what you're doing, that obsession that drives them, that, that, that rush they get just to mess with you, either daily or weekly, monthly, even yearly, it could be years later, what drives them to want to like this obsession with you when they discarded you in the first place or you left them either one vice versa um, or you made boundaries to try to stay away from that person but yet most of the time not all the time but most of the time they will still try to contact you they will still try to be so obsessed and nosy and want to know what you're doing um, who you're seeing, where you're going, what you're doing, like a stalker, like a serious, obsessed stalker. Therefore, that's when, I mean, you have to get protection orders because some people are just, they never get it, right? Um, they don't understand that people carry weapons to protect themselves. They don't understand, and I don't even think they care, but in this day and age, if you follow somebody, you have a good, good chance of getting pretty hurt, <laughs> you know. Um, so, I mean, you follow a woman and her children, most of the time I would say you're probably, you're, you're cutting it pretty uh, slim for your own chances because uh, I guarantee you that mother is going to protect her children at all costs. So, what drives these narcissists to not care about their own safety because their own self is being put in danger by stalking and, and being obsessed with their, with their victim, their past victims, which are now survivors. But what drives them and motivates them to want to be so obsessed with their exes or, or with their old friends or their old, you know, family members that they no longer talk to? Like, like what drives them and why would they be so jealous? just so envious of you you know what drives them and what makes them so envious of you and so drawn to you and so motivated to try to take you down and destroy you is because you are so powerful so loving so strong so uh, filled with this this energy that you didn't know you had but they know you have it and that's why they try to continue to get at you weekly, monthly, whatever, come about every two, three years. They surface out of the, the sand like, a, you know, this serpent trying to get at you. And that's why, you know, because I've had people like ask me why, if they, if they can't stand you, why would they continue to come back and, and mess with you and just, why? What is, the, is like the sick game? what it is it's because they know 
that you have so much potential and and they wish that they could feel like you do and wish they they could care like you did and love like you did and they can't they absolutely cannot and that's why they continue to try to can try like they just try over and over and when you tell them no longer and you put that massive fence up with that bob wire and if they still try to climb over it they still keep trying to push their way through it they try to dig under that fence they whatever get the order the protection orders let them know stay the hell away from me let her know don't come near me I don't want anything to do with you. I mean, you tried to play the nice card, right? You tried to you tried to be that loving, caring person. You tried to be that great friend. You tried to be that loving family member. You tried to be that that caring um, you know, cry on the shoulder, always there for you, picking you up from work, um, buying your medicine if you needed it or you know buying their tires or, or any kind of thing they needed or any kind of help you were there boosting their ego giving them support telling them how beautiful they were how handsome they were how you know smart and educated and oh you're this and that but then you're just taken from yourself because did they turn around did they say how beautiful you were did they say how worthy you were how valuable how they appreciated you did they ever come around and help you when you needed help did were they there to pick you up or were they late or, or even did they show so did they stand up for you when others were saying bad things against you behind your back no probably not so in this case Don't, don't let the narcissist have more of your energy, right? The reason why they go after your energy and they're so obsessed with you and they're so envious, they're so jealous, they're so drawn to you is because you have so much potential and energy and you are a beautiful, wonderful soul and a, and a beautiful person. And they, they wish they could be you. So, but there's no one like you. There never will be. You are one of a kind and you are a badass, frankly. Don't do a lot of cussing. I try not to. I try to keep it short and sweet, but just being honest. And that's why this narcissist tries to destroy and take you down. They try to beat you down and don't allow them to do it. Don't allow her to do it. Don't allow them to do that at all. Okay? Peace. I will talk with you guys soon. Love you guys.